In today's HealthCast, more than 1 million people in the U.S. are living with HIV right now and rates of infection here in South Florida, they continue to rank among some of the highest in the nation. And because people with HIV have a much higher risk of developing cancer, one South Florida hospital recently opened a special clinic to deal with this often devastating dual diagnosis. It was during a routine physical at the age of 52 that this woman who asked only to be known as Samantha was stunned when blood work revealed she had HIV. Complete and absolute because I felt nothing. Within eight months of treatment, the virus was undetectable in her system. Then came another hurdle, learning she had lymphoma and needed to begin cancer treatment right away. It was a tough road. It was very difficult um, having to accept this also. Samantha became a patient at Baptist Hospital's Miami Cancer Institute, which recently opened a special clinic dedicated to treating patients with both HIV and cancer. The presence of the virus, of the HIV virus, and the interaction with other viruses, these patients are at higher risk to have many cancers, not only uh, oral cancer, lung cancer, but also hematologic malignancies, including things such as lymphoma, for instance, and the cases are much more aggressive. Dr. Marco Ruiz, Chief of Oncology and HIV Stem Cell Transplantation, was instrumental in helping the Institute become a member of the AIDS Malignancy Consortium. Now we have many, many, many different opportunities, not only for the clinical operations, but research operations. So hopefully we're going to be leading some of their new research, state-of-the-art research for HIV oncology patients in the future. Samantha finished her cancer treatment in July of 2020 and credits the personalized care she received with helping her achieve full remission. They got me through it. They literally did. And the HIV Cancer Clinic currently has 25 patients enrolled in treatment, but it can accommodate up to 400. They even have patients who have undergone bone marrow transplants with a hope of finding a cure for both the cancer and HIV.